So we know that uh, lakhs of women and girls are going missing, but we don't know whether these helplines or these one-stop centers are rescuing any. How many have they rescued? How many have been rehabilitated? We know nothing on that. And Ms. Kumara Mangalam, uh, we have here acknowledged that these are only reported figures. The actual figures, unfortunately, might be really know. high, uh, much higher than these. So when we talk about the situation being this bad, um, you've been a former chairperson of the National Commission for Women. Yeah, so I, we want to understand from you that uh, what are the kind of crimes that might happen against these missing women and children? Uh, some might be trafficked, as we've mentioned here, for sex work. Some might be trafficked for begging. According to your experience at the National Commission for Women, what kind of cases have you seen with these missing women and girls? You know, uh, very few uh, such cases are really reported to the National Commission of Women hmm. because these go into the criminal system, which is the uh, police station and then if there are fire files, uh, filed, etc. We had a couple that came in. One of them was strangely enough for organ trafficking. People forget that uh, uh, yeah. bodily organs are up for sale all over the world hmm. it can be a liver it can be a kidney it can be an eye it can be even i'm told fingers and skin skin is the largest organ of the body most people don't realize that skin can also be transplanted sometimes i'm told i'm not a doctor but this is what i was told um also for begging for uh, many other things uh, they use for smuggling uh, in short, unfortunately because of the very deep patriarchy that exists not just in india i'd say throughout the world Women are considered, and children, are considered the most easily dispensable, hmm. uh, even girl children. So, other, you know, something happens to them, nobody cares. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I think that our, like Ranjana ji also said, monitoring is not good enough. Hmm. We have a lot of systems that may have been set up, but we really don't know how well those systems are working. Hmm. If they are working on par in all states, if some states are able to do better, why? Is information being shared? Is the justice system, I mean, one of the biggest problems in this country is that our judiciary is so slow. Right. I don't know, there are crores of cases pending. How many of these cases have to do with children or women? Nobody knows. Hmm. And these are things, uh, uh, which is why I said that everybody has to sit down together right. and be honest about the fact that we have failed our women and children, full stop. I mean, Absolutely. you know, whether it's monitoring, whether it's the ways we are trying to uh, um, uh, find out how many have actually gone missing, gone God knows where, hmm. uh, who and why, uh, is there any sort of uh, economic uh, hmm. reason behind it, hmm. all of that. We know it's patriarchy, we know we just don't care enough about our women and our girls, hmm. but that's just very facile, you know, upri baat jo we say, it's just the top, right. the tip, hmm. not, even, I mean, not even the tip of the iceberg. There needs to be a very concerted effort to see right. that when people go missing, and let's not just say only women and children, just say people who go missing. Hmm. There has to be a system in place that's coordinated through all departments, all states, and through, you know, both monitoring and implementation. And this is not being done. And rehabilitation, I mean, in India, rehabilitation is a joke, I think. I'm Absolutely. sorry I say it so bluntly after being head of NCW. But quite frankly, and it's not a laughing matter, I'm sorry for that. But rehabilitation is really, there's almost nothing except for a few... Uh, very few places in some sections of government. I don't know. I, I don't want to go into the state's politics and all of that. Right. And some really good NGOs doing that work. Uh, rehabilitation is uh, very bad in our country. And it's unfortunate, Ms. Kumar Manglam, that we are acknowledging these problems. Even people <laughs> in the government acknowledge these problems. But still, there's not much happening to change them. There's not much happening to increase the monitoring or to increase the rehabilitation measures. So that's extremely unfortunate, recognizing the problem, but still not working to fix it.